Hello and welcome to this quick demonstration on importing a model into Process Simulate. In this case, we are going to the File menu and going to the easily visible Import Model section. As you can see here, we are navigating to the folder where we find our COJT file, which is the native file type that is used in the Process Simulate environment. Now you can bring in lots of different CAD file types into this environment. You know, if you use uh, NX, which we prefer uh, from Siemens, or if you use uh, SolidWorks or uh, Inventor, you know, you can create step files out of those CAD softwares and bring in the step file, or you can uh, export JT files from those softwares in some cases. It will also receive a JT file and turn that into a COJT file. But it also has translators available. If you want to bring in a native SolidWorks file, for example, you can also translate that into COJT uh, within the process simulating environment as well. Now in this case the person has brought in a robot model. You can see there are different class types associated with organizing this information as you bring in the CAD models. Now they are bringing in a second robot. There you can see now these things are all overlapped. And now that you've brought these things into your environment, the, the, we're going to use the placement manipulator to provide a more exact positioning of these things as we begin our process simulate study. Similar to how you would place things in other CAD environments, but as you can see here, the dialog box offers very small increments, uh, the ability to insert very, very specific placement parameters uh, because you're gonna wanna get the placement of these things exactly right within the process simulate environment as you work to determine the layout here. Now you can also bring in you know, a full CAD layout from another CAD system as well. So if you like finalizing your layout in a different CAD system, you can bring that full layout and all of the objects in one single import into the process simulate environment and make sure that everything is located where you have it located in your other CAD software.